building a bed of nails. Like a literal bed of nails. And we're gonna see if I can take a nap on it. Or if I puncture along first. I'm spilling coffee everywhere. With that being said, we have a couple obstacles that we need to face. First off being how not to die. And literally the most important thing. And second, how many nails we need because we definitely need more than one. I think there's gonna be a little math involved. And lastly, I wanna see if I can take a nap on it. If my body relaxes into the nails and it's like a therapeutic thing or if they impale me. Um, and there's only one way to find out. We need to start building. Obviously, one nail pops a balloon. So we went up to 12 nails. Then something interesting began happening. Instead of the nails puncturing the balloon, the balloon was spreading out across the nails. Obviously, there's some physics at play here. While I'm playing with these balloons and its weight is being distributed across these nails rather than just at one pinpoint. The real question is, how many nails do we need to make sure I don't puncture a lung or puncture my skin? Because we know we needed 12 for a balloon, but I am much, much heavier than a balloon. And those nails can do a lot of damage. Because if I lay down wrong on one of these nails, it is not gonna be good. Ah! Let's chat about the distribution of weight. If you push on a wall, there's a high likely you're not going through it. And if you are, you need to get your walls checked out. No matter how hard you put, because you're distributing all of it through your hands, you're not going through the wall. Even with a full running start, you're not going through the wall. But if you're a nail, you have no problem going through the wall. Why? Because you have a small little point that is distributing a lot of force at the very top. With the nail, there's a small point of contact throughout the wall, which creates a lot of pressure in one spot. So pounds per square inch is PSI. And after some research, I discovered that it only takes 100 PSI to break through skin. So I need to make sure when I'm laying on this bed of nails that I'm distributing my weight and not having more than 100 PSI on each nail. We got all our stuff, here's the game plan. We're gonna drop all the nails basically into all these slots on the pegboard. This felt like the easiest, fastest, most efficient way to do this. I also think it's gonna look incredibly satisfying. And then we're gonna use uh, this plywood, slap it on the back, create a really strong... Uh, Sandwich. Yeah, of the nails. And then I'm gonna take a nap. Yay. I think. Yay. Yay. <laughs> This was honestly the most satisfying part, dropping all of these nails into the peg holes. Oh, it's like that game you play when you're a kid. You put your hand on it, and it shows you a design. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Honestly, using the pegboard felt like a genius move because we didn't have to worry about the spacing and drilling holes properly. Everything was already perfectly spaced out, so all we had to do was make sure that the nails were sitting up straight. Okay, so we're gonna add another piece of plywood on top that's going to lock in those nails. So, these We'll go like this, and then we'll put a bunch of screws in it for my bed. Our bed of nails is complete and slightly terrifying. The more I look at it, the more I don't really want to do this, but I'm doing this because I love you and the viewer at home. So thank you for watching to this point. Okay, so my plan is to crab walk over it, lay down, Take a little nappy poo for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes if I can fall asleep. Or if I'm in excruciating pain, I'll just yell and get up. There's <laughs> only one way to find out and that's to do it. <laughs> I am allowing myself one piece of comfort and that is a pillow for my head so I don't impale my head with a nail. I guess it's time. It's time. <sighs> oh, I'm getting too old for this. I feel like I need to take my shoes off. Well, I have no nails in my butt currently. I mean, I do have nails in my butt, but they're not in my skin. So that's good. Am I far enough? You're on. 
I'm sitting on it, which means a lot of the weight's on my butt. I mean, you can probably see my butt like, I'm a little scared to move my butt. <laughs> oh, are you gonna scooch? I feel like I need to move down just a little bit. Does it hurt? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> my booty hurts. We're doing it. Hmm. You know? Down. I'm down. I'm laying here. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel like I want to adjust my butt. Do a little booty hip bridge. It actually feels good. I feel like I want my shoe off. This feels like, you know, like rich people do this. <laughs> Some, like really rich therapy. Yeah. If I could just get my body to like relax, that would be like key. Like my spine is in between. Oh, that does not feel good. The nails. It feels better once I relax. It just feels like something's poking me. Apparently this is supposed to be good for your nervous system. I saw that, it's like ancient Chinese things or something. Poetry? Yeah, probably. Mm. They say they use it to connect the mind, body, and spirit. I'm laying on a bed of nails. You called your own daughter a weirdo. Well, who calls their mom while they're laying on a bed of nails? Hey, mom, for science, I'm laying on a bed of nails. Okay, because it is for science. I am laying on a bed of nails. Okay, well. Does it hurt? No, not really. It's kind of like acupuncture. You know, people pay big money for this. I paid $20. Okay, I will talk to you later. We're going to go keep sciencing. Keep sciencing. Love okay, you. Okay, love you too. Bye, mom. Huh? She loves when I call her when I'm doing things for science. <laughs> you can just set a timer for like 10, 15 minutes. All right, we're gonna leave. Okay. You just chill out. I'm gonna hang here. You hang. Back from the nap. It was good. I didn't really like fall asleep, but I did try to like close my eyes and just like chill. Just chill. That's chill. Just chill. It was great. Yeah? I feel very relaxed, truthfully. Would you recommend it? I would. I think everyone should try laying on a bed of nails, but I mean, correctly, not just one. Sure, sure. Many thousands. Yeah. <laughs> Many thousands of them is what you need. But all I have to say is, I mean, that's it. There's no secret here. It's just science. With a little bit of physics, you can lay on a bed of nails and disperse your weight properly. And if you want to see another video that is some wild physics, make sure you check out this one right here where we throw liquid nitrogen in someone's face. Honestly, I can't believe we did it. Go check those physics out. Until the next one, keep trying new things and stay random. Ow! Ow! But if you're a nail, you have no trouble puncturing the wall. Oh! Oh!